we are in Rebus A320 and uh, we will be doing the service bulletin for this uh, Saint Corbin uh, windshield, both the windshield. To address the safety concerns identified with the St. Goban windshields of specific part numbers on the Airbus A320 family, YASA has issued an airworthiness directive. This directive mandates the implementation of Airbus service bulletin procedures to ensure the integrity of the affected windshields. According to the service bulletin, operators are required to perform inspection, dielectric test, and insulation test of the heater element. We have to do the insulation test and dielectric test. This is our dielectric tester and insulation tester. Okay, so the arrangement is like this. We have to open this panel and do the inspection for the receptacle. Okay, so first we'll be opening this uh, receptacle for the inspection. There's a four mounting bolt over here, which has to be opened. We'll remove this and do the inspection inside the wires and all the pins and the internal area. So we have removed the receptacle. So as per the SB, we have to inspect for any kind of moisture, corrosion or burn marking inside area plus the wires. So you can see the wires all is in good condition and inside area also we have to inspect. Now we are normalizing the receptacle. So during installation as per the SB, we have to see to it that this blue line, the keyway has to be in uh, top position in 12 o'clock position, okay? You have to take care of that. We don't have to change the orientation, otherwise our plug will not be connected properly. The inspection is done, we have to connect our tester. This is the harness coming with the tester, dielectric tester. It has to be going in this uh, receptacle and from this harness, there is uh, two output. We have connected our this uh, lid from which is coming from the dielectric tester. One lid will go in alpha. Okay. The other part is like this, which has to be go in this red part, which is positive as per the manual. Okay. So the one which is coming from the harness from the windshield will go in positive. Okay. And the other part, the negative, the blue one, it will be going outside to the Z bar. So we are outside of this windshield. We are on captain side windshield. So as per the SB, we have to make a cut on this uh, sealant. They have mentioned the dimension from where to where we have to cut. So when we cut it with the Z bar, which is conducting path around the windshield, it should be visible. Okay. So on this uh, Z bar, we have to connect our probe for the dielectric tester. This normal multimeter lid with this attachment. Okay, so this has to touch on that Z bar. So they have given the procedure, it has to be connected like this. Okay, and then after attaching, we will uh, secure this probe on the windshield so that it doesn't move before be, uh, because the tester will take one minute for testing. And then on this, we have to put a conducting path for this copper foil they have given. We have to attach our pr probe with this uh, copper foil. Okay, and then this has to be attached on so that it doesn't move during the test. So we have connected our probe uh, to the Z bar. Uh, with this uh, copper foil during the test make sure nobody is touching this uh, the high voltage is going through the probe so this is going in our tester we'll connect it in our tester dielectric tester so everything is connected the dielectric tester has to be connected to the external supply the this is the 50 hertz to 60 hertz 16 amps so we are not taking supply from the aircraft we are taking it from the outside external power and then we'll switch it on now during the test, make sure that you are not touching any probe, the high voltage will be passing through the probes over year and over year. Okay. So we started the tester, so it is asking you whether everything is connected properly. So we will click on yes, it is touch screen. Okay. So we will click on this auto sequence. Here it is asking dielectric test 001. So we will click on this play button. We will press start. Now once I press it will start, the voltage will pass through the Z bar and uh, through the, uh, the wiring and it will measure the dielectric between this two point and then it will give us uh, the amps, the passing amps and the voltage. Okay. So the tester testing has been started. 
they are giving us the time countdown one minute the current passing through is 0 0.4 milliamps and the voltage is 1500 so we'll wait for uh, the one minute and then we'll check the final result okay so this is the final result the current which passed through the direct trick was 0 0.4 milliamps okay so everything is okay we'll just uh, go back and this back so we'll just switch it off and then we will connect uh, we'll do the insulation test now this is our insulation tester it has got terminal 1 terminal 2 as per the as per the AMM we'll connect it so this time the harness which is coming from the windshield it will go in uh, this part negative part and the harness which is coming from outside Z bar it will go in positive side okay can you see this is outside and this is inside okay now we have to do insulation test for one minute on 500 volt okay so we'll take it on 500 we'll wait for the tester to start now we can set the time how long we need without uh, we have either we can press and hold it for one minute or we can set the time so I'll just click this one once okay it is locked then again I will click this now it is saying me the timer has been set on one minute okay so I'll just press this test and then it will give 500 volt for one minute and it will give us the reading how much uh, ohms it is uh, there okay I'll press and hold till it starts and then I can leave it so it is giving 500 volt now it will give for one minute and the uh, reading which we are getting is 900 mega ohms this is mega now it is 1000 so after one minute we'll note down the reading and then we'll compare it in our graph provided with the SB okay so our one minute has been completed our reading is 1165 1165 mega ohms okay so we'll note down this reading and then we'll plot the graph so right now we'll just switch it off.